Welcome back, everyone, to the next episode of Mr. Felstrom's Precalc Cast. Today's episode is Benchmark 13.2, the Law of Cosines. In our last episode, we looked at the Law of Sines, which we used to solve uh, an oblique triangle if we have two angles in a side and two sides and the non-included angle. The Law of Cosines we use for the other two cases, which are two sides and the included angle and all three sides which is the case that we have here now uh, the actual law of sines is this top formula here uh, a squared will equal b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine of a now uh, there's actually three of these formulas one for each side but if you just remember the the uh, side opposite the angle is uh, is what's out in front so uh, one side squared is going to equal the sum of the other two sides squared minus two times those two sides times the cosine of that angle uh, opposite the original side. If we solve this for cosine of a, we end up getting this adjusted formula b squared plus c squared minus a squared over 2bc. Uh, this is a, a useful formula if we have all three sides and uh, one, I need to find an angle first. Uh, and again, there's three of these, one for each angle, but if you just remember the angle that we have, um, we are subtracting that side opposite. Okay, so uh, here we have um, A, side A is 3.2, side B is 7.6, and side C is 6.4. Now, when we are using the law of cosines, we always want to start with the biggest side. 7.6. We want to start there uh, because the biggest side is going to give us the biggest angle. And it could be obtuse, it could be acute, but uh, um, we'll find that out when we actually solve it. So start with the, starting with the biggest side, uh, which is B. I'm going to need to find the angle. So I'm going to use the, uh, the modified law of cosines, which is uh, the cosine of B. That will equal, uh, that's going to be a squared plus c squared minus b squared over 2ac and this is where that angle and the side minus the side opposite so um, we have uh, cosine of b to equal 3.2 squared plus 6.4 squared minus 7.6 squared all over 2 times 3.2 times 6.4. When I uh, work that out in the calculator on the top, I get negative 6.56, and on the bottom, 40.96. So then to inverse, to get angle B, 6.56 or 40.96 uh, I end up getting angle B as 99.2 degrees which is an obtuse angle so I'm glad I found that first had I, had I gone and found a different ang different side first different angle first um, I would not have gotten the correct angle B uh, now to find uh, angle A now uh, and by the way now that I do have an angle and sides I can go back to the law of sines if I want to because uh, I have an angle and the side opposite and then I can use uh, inverse to find that or I can use the law of cosines again and it's uh, really a matter of uh, personal preference uh, just so you can see uh, an example of how it is uh, I will go ahead and do uh, law of uh, um, law of cosines again. Uh, this time I'm going to find uh, angle A. So the cosine of angle A is going to be uh, 7.6 squared plus 6.4 squared minus 3.2 squared over 2 times 7.6 times 6.4 uh, and that's again the, the angle and minus the side opposite up here uh, when I work that out 
I get on the top 88.48 and on the bottom 97.28 and so I will inverse to find the angle inverse 88.48 over 97.28 and for angle A I get 24.6 degrees and then finally for angle C uh, I'm just going to subtract those two from 180 so angle C is going to be 180 minus 99.2 minus 24.6 which is going to equal 56.2 for angle C. And uh, if you were to use the law of sines to find angle A, you would still get the same answer. So, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.